The break apart feature is new to Elements 3 and has a number of essential uses. Let's take a look at a couple of them. First of all, let's take a look at our break apart icon. It's in our Arrange toolbar. The shortcut for it is Control K. Okay, in previous versions, when we produced multiple lines of lettering and then kern the letters, the lines aren't centered under each other. To demonstrate this, I'll just do a, a quick kerning, and you can see the distance in a moment. You'll be able to see the distance between the T and the A and the A and the S in the first two lines is different, so that the lines are out of alignment. Now, the advantage of doing multiple lines of lettering is that you can place them on the design, you can see exactly what they look like, and, uh, and, and get your spacing right. So, to to kern or to align our lettering now we simply break apart, select them all, go to our arrange menu bar and align on the center, the vertical center. I guess that's a really neat trick and saves a lot of time. Okay the next thing that I want to take a quick look at is outline outlines around the lettering. Now if we add an outline, and the outline is a new feature to, to Elements 3 as well, but if we add an outline, it's going to put an outline around the whole object, that is the three lines. So it does all of the blue and then all of the yellow. And you can imagine that by the time it's finished stitching the yellow outline around the last letter Y, you're probably going to have some alignment problems. So let's just take a quick look to verify how it will stitch it. Because it's like doing all of the blue and then followed by all of the yellow. So what I suggest you do is break apart and deal with each word or line separately. So break apart, we've got three lines of lettering and you can in fact break that each line down to each word. We won't in this case, but you can break each word down to each letter. So what I've just picked today, put a, a border around it, is border a border. But in fact, you can select two words at a time, or multiple words at a time, put the border around, and it will place the border after each word. So you can see wonderful at the bottom has its own yellow border and then the last word day has its border. Another advantage of course is that you can select the, the yellow border from uh, any of the words and change the colour. Another neat new feature, slightly off topic but we can do a quick redraw or a slow redraw with true view on. Okay, so for those that like to use true view you can now use your slow redraw to see how the design will stitch out.